Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Jordan and I am one of the F&I or Finance and Insurance Managers here at Pierman Motor Company located in Alto, Texas. Now, uh, I wanna talk to you a little bit about buying a vehicle. Buying a vehicle is undoubtedly one of the biggest purchases that you and I will ever make, second only to purchasing a house. And for many people, buying a vehicle is very much stressful, probably more stressful than buying a house. There's a lot of myths and concerns and questions about buying cars. And uh, because of that, I wanna talk to you a little bit today and walk you through the process of what it takes to buy a vehicle. Now, every dealership is different. With that being said, this is pretty much the pattern that every dealership will follow. It may be a little different uh, per dealership. However, this is, this is pretty routine. So I wanna just walk through that with you today. First of all, if you're gonna buy a vehicle, determine exactly what your budget is every month. You need to understand what uh, you can afford as far as payment-wise. Um, if you're paying cash for it, how much cash you have on hand. Um, remember, if you're buying a vehicle and you're financing it, don't just take into account the, uh, the monthly payment, also take into account the insurance. If you go from a 20-year-old vehicle with 150,000 miles on it, paying strictly liability on it, to buy a brand new vehicle straight off the lot, load it down and want full coverage, your insurance premium is going to skyrocket. So keep that in mind in determining your budget. Once you've determined your budget, you need to find a vehicle. Uh, that's when you want to partner with a salesperson to find exactly what you need and want. Notice I, I separated the needs and the wants here. Uh, many times we often want things that we don't need or uh, maybe, maybe there's something, a need that's more pressing than a want. Uh, for example, you may have a vehicle that you would really like to have the big 12 inch touchscreen radio that's found on many of our new 2020 Dodge Rams. Uh, but you're, you, that may be a want, but the need may be to have something of a lower price to fit your budget. So that salesperson is gonna help walk you through that. If there's not the vehicle uh, of your choice on the lot, that salesperson is gonna work hard to find that vehicle or order that vehicle for you. So you wanna come in and talk to a salesperson to get you in the correct vehicle. Third step, and this is a very important, and many people get bogged down here, is to negotiate the deal. Um, negotiation is not a bad thing. Negotiation is not something to be afraid of. It's simply two parties trying to come to an agreement on the price. And so feel free to negotiate with your salesperson um, about the price, see exactly what you can get as far as your trade-in is concerned. Um, take, take time here to discuss any accessories that you're going to be putting on it. For example, if you're wanting fixed running boards on a new truck, this is where you would discuss that with your salesperson, get a price, see exactly what they can do to get you in the vehicle. Uh, one point about your trade-in, if you have a trade-in, uh, you want to keep in mind, first of all, your payoff, um, and your salesperson is going to need to know that information in order to help you get accurate numbers for the deal. Uh, be as open with your salesperson on, on this as you can in order to get you the best deal possible. Many people have, have made the statement, well, I'll just sell the vehicle outright instead of actually trade it in. One thing to keep in mind that in the state of Texas, if you have a trade-in, you can get a tax savings there on the deal. Sales tax on a new vehicle is 6.25%. When you trade a vehicle in, you take, say, $30,000 sales price minus, say, $15,000 on, on your trade-in, and you are left with a balance of $15,000 you are taxed on the balance, that $15,000, versus the $30,000 if you didn't trade a vehicle in. So you can see, you can save significant amount of money using your trade-in in the state of Texas. Once you've negotiated with your salesperson, then it's time to come into my office, where we'll, we'll talk here in the F&I office about contracts and paperwork and warranties and all of that fun stuff. With that being said, the first step in my office to do, is to determine your financing. Are you going to finance through your local bank or credit union, or will you be financing with the dealership's lenders? Many times people come into my office, they're ready to finance with the dealership's lenders. My first job is to get a credit application. 
Once I ask a bunch of nosy questions, I'm going to submit the credit application. We're going to get an approval from uh, or an answer from the, the lenders. One thing to note here, many different dealerships have, have spread the rumor or the myth, if you will, that come in, do a credit application, we'll run your credit. It's not going to hurt your credit score. When I run your credit, whether it's for one bank or 20 banks, I'm going to do what's called a hard pull. There's no such thing as what's called a soft pull, what people have termed a soft pull on your credit. When I run your credit, it's going to show up. The only problem with that is if you go to several different dealerships and they run it several different to run it to several different banks and you keep getting denied or maybe you're trying to get a better rate, you could potentially harm your credit score. Something to keep in mind, I want to do a video later in a few weeks about credit score so you can tune in on that and I'll answer a lot more of those myths. But I just want to walk you through the process so you're educated when you go to purchase this vehicle. So once we run it to the bank, we're going to get you an approval. We're going to give you an interest rate. Uh, the bank's going to give us an interest rate. We're going to give that to you based on the terms that we've submitted it in, the price, the amount of money down. Some banks do not require money down depending on credit score and uh, employment and income. Some will require employment verification or income verification. A couple of things to keep in mind. Many times income verification is as simple as your last or your most recent pay stub. Uh, sometimes if you're self-employed, you may need a tax return, uh, the most recent tax return. Uh, if verification of employment, many times it's simply a phone call to the place of business to say if uh, John Smith does indeed work at ABC Incorporated. So it's very, very simple uh, when we break it down. We'll get that taken care of. We'll present you with the rates. And that's when we start looking over warranty options. I always present warranty to my customers. The neat thing about Pyramid Motor Company is we're not going to pressure you, but we are going to give you some information and some options for an extended warranty. Remember, an extended warranty is nothing more and nothing less than an insurance plan. It's insurance in case your vehicle were to break. I am extremely excited about our product right now. Chrysler, uh, Dodge, Ram, and Jeep do an incredible job. The brands are absolutely amazing. However, they are mechanical. And when you're dealing with mechanics, when you're dealing with electrical out, uh, uh, attributes and aspects, they can, especially over time, wear down and break. So that's why we present you that option. The cool thing is you can take it or leave it. We just want to give you an education on what we have to offer. We'll discuss credit life, credit disability, we'll discuss gap. There's a lot of things that we'll throw at you at that time, but it's simply to educate you in the sales process. Okay? We are not high pressure. We're not here to pressure you. With that being said, once we decide on all of that, we have the credit uh, application submitted. We've decided on a, uh, we've got the price. We've got decided on warranty. We've got your interest rate locked in. Then we're going to sign the paperwork. This is often the most tedious part of the process because in the state of Texas, uh, buying a vehicle has a lot of paperwork with it. And, uh, the more aspects of the deal that you add, such as financing, trade-ins, extended warranties, etc., will add to that paperwork load. But we will get through that. I'll walk you through that paperwork. We'll sign a purchase order. We'll go over warranty. We'll sign any warranty contracts. Um, we'll talk about uh, title application. We'll get you registered in the county where you live. Uh, we'll go through our insurance part. I will actually call your insurance agent during this time and get some information from them. It is just verification that you have insurance and it goes and some, it is submitted to the lender. I'll also give you a temporary license plate. That temporary license plate will go on your vehicle and, and will uh, keep you street legal until you receive your metal plates from the county. And so we'll walk you through all of that paperwork and sometimes that stack gets high. Uh, but really, signing the paperwork is the very last step, and, and that's the culmination of all the hard work that you've put in. And the last step after that is simply to enjoy your vehicle. You see, buying a vehicle is not something to dread. In fact, here at Pyramid Motor Company, our goal is to make it enjoyable. We want you to come in. We want you to build a relationship with us. We want to do more than just sell a vehicle and you be another number. We want you to be a friend, someone that can come in and enjoy the vehicle with us and so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop it in the comment section of our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more uh, updated videos. We will be discussing over the next few weeks and months 
different aspects of the financial part of buying a vehicle. You'll want to hear things about credit scores and warranties. I'll go in depth more on things like gap insurance and credit life and credit disability insurance. So check us out. Subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. Come check us out. Come see us in beautiful downtown Alto.